Hello YouTube, my name is Nick and today I will be showing you what I have found to be the best way to record your HD gameplay. Now this is using a program called Amarek TV, which is a Japanese program. I'm going to put a link to this in the description. Don't worry, it is in English. This is the English version. Um, but uh, you probably want to pause the video and download that before you watch the rest of this because it will make more sense. Um, so once you download it and extract it, you want to um, install this live setup. Um, th this is only really required if you want to live stream. If not, you don't need it. The actual application is a portable application, so you don't need to install it, but you want to run it. Now, there's a few things about this program that I really like. I've tried a lot of third party programs like uh, Virtual Dub, VH Capture, AM Cap, all those kind of things, and none of them work as well as this. This one has a lot of features, does a lot of cool things. And um, yeah, it's just what I found to be the best program uh, there is for capturing. So um, when you first start it, it'll ask you what device you want. Um, now I'm pretty sure this works with most capture cards. Um, it does work with mine, the AverMedia uh, HD DVR. So um, I select BDA Analog Capture Secondary and BDA Analog Capture Secondary, input S video and a lengthy audio um, for format. Uh, you want 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second, YUI2 color code, and uh, that's what you need. In the general tab, you can select the location where the files are saved. Uh, you can give it a file name and then it'll add the date and time after. Um, I don't like having this checked because it opens a window up and it's kind of annoying. If you want, you could change it to Japanese, but probably not the best thing to do. Um, 16 to 9 aspect ratio, that'll probably just go by default, but you can select that anyways. Uh, the live tab, this is really cool, you have a mixer, so I can have um, the mic and the game sound recording at the same time, so here you see I have my um, blue snowflake microphone, and I have it turned up and the game sound turned down, so I could do live commentaries um, and you know not have to mix the tracks together, and you can uh, do this live feature, which I'll show later on. Um, okay, this is the important part, the recording. Um, now it'll prompt you to use its codec and it's not very good and it has a watermark so you don't want to do that. Um, you want to go here, update codec list, and it'll show all the codecs you have. Um, I use an MJPEG codec. What I've found from using codecs is the best codec for recording gameplay is MJPEG. Um, there's other ones that have better compression, uh, H.264. Um, DivX, XFID, all those have better compression, but when you try and edit it with uh, Sony Vegas, like if you're trying to make a montage, or even if you're just trying to do a commentary and you know put your extra audio track over it, it's going to lag a lot in the Sony Vegas preview, and it's going to make it really difficult to edit because it's so highly compressed. Um, MJPEG isn't as compressed, and um, it's not uncompressed, and it's not lossless, so the files generally for this are 40 megabits per second which isn't too bad um, you get good quality and um, you can still edit with it um, I use the here let's go um, I use the pic video mjpeg codec which I think you have to buy um, but there's probably a free trial if you want to try that out or you can find a different one um, so I don't know those, these are just the settings I use with it um, and for audio compressor if you have lame mp3 codec it will show up here. Um, my default MP3 codec doesn't work with this. It gives an error, but uncompressed is fine. It's not really too much of a difference in file size. For frame rate, um, although games run in 60 frames per second, YouTube will downgrade any video you upload to 30 frames per second. So if you're planning on uploading to YouTube, um, 60 frames per second is a waste, especially since it doubles the file size. And uh, there's really not a noticeable difference between 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second when you're recording. So um, if you record in 30 frames per second, your files will be half as big and it'll look pretty much the same. There's a slight difference, but uh, it's not really noticeable. Um, there's screenshot option, hotkeys, you can set these up to do whatever you want. I have um, for record start and stop, it has control R and control S. Since I play with my computer monitor, I usually have to switch inputs, but this does make a convenient beeping noise every time you press Control R. So I'm uh, I'm sure it's recording without having to switch inputs and go back, but that probably won't apply for most people. Um, 
I don't know, it might. Uh, advanced, you want priority to EVR. Um, assuming you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, if not, then uh, just set it to auto, which probably uh, just switches it to use overlay. But if you're on Windows 7 or whatever, you want priority priority to EVR. And I think that's the only thing I really changed here. Everything else can just be normal. So if you're looking for a good alternative to capture your HD gameplay, I highly recommend this program. Um, I'm fairly certain that this works with the Blackmagic Intensity, as well as the Roxio Game Capture, and of course the Avermedia HD DVR. And I think it works with the USB version as well, but again, I have not tried uh, that or the Hop Hog. So if you have one of those and want to try this, um, and it does work, please post a comment so other people know. But uh, yeah, this is a fantastic program if you're trying to record your HD gameplay. Um, in terms of codec detection, it's not the best. I know VH Capture detects like every single codec you have, but this does detect a fair amount and it detects the ones I need. So um, it does detect an MJPEG codec. So whatever MJPEG codec you wanna use, I recommend using MJPEG. As I said before, good, good mix between quality and compression and you can edit with it in Sony Vegas. So MJPEG is usually the best way to go. Um, audio, you don't really need to compress that. Um, but you can use an, MP, uh, an MP3 codec if you want. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a good way to capture, as I said, this is a good program. Um, also, it has the mixer feature, which is amazing because I've never seen another capture program that has something like this. You can do live commentaries and that sort of thing. Or, um, you know, if you want to like live stream with music playing or something like that, then that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make another video to show you guys how to live stream with this program. So check the description for a link to that. And uh, yeah, I hope I can help you guys out. Um, those of you who are looking for an alternative to capture your gameplay. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys later.